welcome to day three of our three of our uh, shut down. Today we walk to the highest point in the western side of the town, uh, probably 500 metres from our house. Behind me is the Mayoran Casern or Mayoran Barracks, uh, named after Brigadier Mayor, who was a legend of the year, Sebastian. Very interesting man, he had a legion of honour. Uh, the barracks is typical of the 19th century, built in 1875, so it has the walk line, which is also the parade ground. And uh, the barracks has housed a number of regiments all the way up to World War I. Okay guys, we've just switched to voiceover only. Barracks were built in 1875 and the 102nd Regiment was the first posted regiment to Mayen. It moved on to Sharp just before the First World War. Three regiments were raised in the First World War. The 130th Regiment, who fought at Marne, Somme, Ardennes and Cher campaigns. The 26th Territorial Regiment, which fought in the Scheldt, Arras, Somme, Verdun and St. Quentin campaigns and the 330th Reserve Regiment with the fort at Verdun and Mew. In World War II, 130th was re-raised again in September 1939 and fought with the 7th Infantry Division of the 3rd Army. Fighting in the Oise Valley uh, on the 7th and 6th and 7th of June. Fighting at Aliette and then again being surrounded and fighting in the city of Soissons where they surrendered. Occupation of the barracks was then by the Germans and was used as a prison for French soldiers until the end of 1940. The barracks were then used by the Germans for the Würzburg radar facility, which was about four kilometres west of Mayen. It was an important facility for detection of bombers coming from England to bomb Germany, France, etc during the war. After the war, 80 refugee families were then housed in the barracks until the mid-50s and then the gendarmerie took over and the western gendarmerie still are there today as their training facility. Fortunately in the 1970s, two wings of the barracks were destroyed, leaving only the centre command barracks. Thanks guys for joining us and we'll see you tomorrow.